The question is not condemning. The question is to the question is to look into the root causes of the problem. We Palestinians have been under occupation for the last 56 years. Children, kids, uh, women have been killed every day on daily basis. The desecrations of our holy sites, Al-Aqsa Mosque, the Holy Sepulchre, have been desecrated for so long, and the West has never made any kind of reaction to what Israelis have been doing in terms of extrajudicial killings, in terms of putting checkpoints, in terms of violating human rights every day. Nobody, nobody asked why the Palestinians under their occupation have to suffer the state terrorism of Israel. Rather now, they are questioning why Hamas is doing operational activities, military inside the green zone. Now the international consensus is worried about Israel, but they will never worried about the Palestinians who twisted, killed, bombarded, killed, dying, buildings are being torn down, but but Israeli and what have you. Where is the international community? Why aren't they not these crimes, this genocide against the Palestinian people? The occupied territories and doing, you know, a military activity. They killed women. They killed Israeli soldiers who are killing them every day. Hamas or not Hamas, the people are fed up. Enough is enough. Killing them every day, uh, stranding them economically, the embargo. I mean, I cannot explain to you, I'm so full of emotions to tell you what the people of Gaza have been suffering for the last 20 years because of this strangulation and, and the boycott and embargo and what have you. Now, is the question of condemnation when it comes to people under occupation, resisting occupation? This is very ridiculous. Nobody, no rational mind could accept, you know, the underdog to say sorry to the super dog and to justify their actions. It's unbelievable. These questions are. We get from the West, you know, when we are in there. Nobody is questioning the terrorism of Israel against the Palestinians. Show me how many times Israelis and settlers are burning in the West Bank. I, I personally did not hear any kind of a statement, but I know that Iran has always been in support of the Palestinian people. They have been supporting the resistance movement, but I don't know the connection of Hamas to Iran. I don't have any comment on that. The consequences of this is the destruction of all Gaza and the forcing of the Palestinians to go into the Sinai Desert to exterminate completely the Palestinian issue. That's the intention of Israel <coughs> and see the West Bank to Israel proper by giving by giving municipal rights to the Palestinians. This is the essence of what I call an apartheid state, the one state solution that Israel and the settlers are willing to do in the occupied territories. For us, it's a war of survival. It's enough. We have to resist. We have been killed every day. We have been maimed every day. <coughs> enough hunger, enough uh, destitution, enough uh, violence and killings on daily basis. So what do you expect? Well, the question of ceasefire is inevitable. There will be outside forces, <coughs> regional forces. The international community will put pressures on both sides. 
to cease fire because military solution, my friends, is not a solution. <coughs> Israel tried so many times to destroy Gaza and to no avail. The Palestinian people are stay to resist and to stay on their land. We have six million Palestinians living in the occupied territory. Once to commit genocide, we say in Arabic, Ahlan wa sahlan. We plead to the international community to interfere immediately. My president, Mahmoud Abbas, has been contacting all the international organizations, including the United Nations, for an immediate protection of our civilians in Gaza and to open <coughs> the frontiers uh, <coughs> so as we could get you know, food, medical supplies from the world because this collective punishment is not justifiable by the Israeli military tanks and air force and F-16s against innocent civilians, killing families together, colliding all kinds of uh, towers and residential areas. Is this humanity? This is barbaric action by a state terrorism. So why the West is talking about one side and not the other? Why do they put the occupier and the occupied on the equal foot? This is the community that is trying to when it comes basically to the Palestinian people. But when it comes to Ukraine, all the 